We are getting ready for Memorial Day. Get it? So now we're going to do our same kind of back to basics workout we did on Tuesday. Probably get a little, little bit of modified high intensity training. So, we'll march in place on the right to start. We're warming up. Elbows up, palms are down, but step and lift our knees like this. Step, knee. Try to bring that knee all the way up to your hand. Work your hip flexor, loosen up your hamstrings and glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next, we'll open up our hips. Bring your elbow up to the side. Bring your thigh to your elbow. Look at those hips. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's do hamstring curls. Step and curl. Pick your back side. Chop your arms. Keep it going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now lunging forward on the right for eight, seven, six. Keep those elbows out. Put your hands up and down. Four, three. Next, right side lunge. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, next, lunging backwards on the right, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lunging backwards on the left, for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, left side lunge, eight, seven, six, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your front body, four, three, finally, let's go forward on the left, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. We're going to start with a block of high intensity deadlifts and squats. So we'll do deadlifts for 20 seconds, we'll rest for 10. Squats for 20, rest for 10. Repeat that cycle four times. So do four sets of deadlifts, four sets of squats. You can use dumbbells or a heavy two. Stack your spine, pack your shoulders, lift your sternum, soften your knees. Dead lift. Go. Bend and extend. You want to pull back against those weights so you keep your shoulders engaged in your back. You don't want to hunch forward. You can work at your own pace here. Keep it going. Bend and extend. Inhale and exhale. Don't forget to breathe. It's our glutes and our hamstrings and our lower back. Spine stack, shoulders pack, squats are next. Gonna push your hips back and sit back. Like Go. this. Bend, extend. Down and up. Lower and lift. Really press through your heels. Come all the way up each time. Nice tall spine. Back to deadlifts. Back to the shoulders. Lift your sternum. Stand up tall. Hinge from your hip crease. Go. Really engage those glutes coming up. Squeeze your buttocks. Back to squats. Stand up tall before you start. 
go. Push those hips back. Sink down. Press up through your heels. Halfway through, deadlifts again, shoulders packed, spine stacked. Pull back against those weights. Go. Nice and long spine. Breathe with your chest. Breathe. Squats again. Stand up tall to start. Go. Push your hips back. Keep your spine long. Keep your sternum somewhat lifted. You want to keep your gaze forward over your squats. You don't want to hunch over. Seventy-five percent. That's a solid C. We're going for A plus. Shoulders pack. Get ready for deadlifts. Last set of deadlifts. Here we go. Go. Last Final squats round. coming up. Go on. Cover. All right. Catch your breath. By the way, I told the morning class I wore the same shirt. I said, feel free to post that I look just like Chris Evans. Nobody did. Come on. All right, let's do some heel raises next. You might wanna grab onto a chair or a sideboard, whatever you've got, a hutch, an end table. If you wanna grab a dumbbell as well, you can. We'll do two sets of these. This is not mixed, this is not high intensity. We'll do heel raises with straight legs, with bent legs to shift emphasis to our deeper muscle. So grab a weight if you want to. Parallel uh, peak, spine is stacked. Let's lift our heels for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, next. Up for three counts, down for one. Lift, two, three, and lower. Up, two, three, and down. Two, Three, one more time like this, next. Up for one count, down for three. So lift and lower, two, three, up, down, two, three, two more. Lift and lower with control. One more time like this. Let's go back to regular time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, to hold those heels up on one. Lift those heels as high as you can. Really engage your calves, your quads, back your spine, lift your sternum, stand up nice and tall. Relax. Shake it out. Catch your breath. I'm going to switch sides. If you're holding the dumbbells, try to switch hands if you want to. Just so one arm does part of the work. Parallel feet. 
bend our knees, push our hips back. We're going to lift our heels here, keep the knees bent in five, six, seven, eight. eight. Lift and lower. Spine is long, shoulders are packed. Lift your sternum for four, you know what's next. Three, in two, we're gonna slow it down to half time. Here we go. Lift, two, down, two. Up and up, down and down. Lower. Let's keep it going. Just like this. For four, two, three, and down. Three, lift, and lower. Down, to two, lift, and down. One more time. Let's go back to regular time again. Eight, seven, six, five. Lift those heels for four. Feel the burn. Three, two, let's hold them up on one. Lift them as high as you can. Maybe squat a little bit deeper. Keep that spine long. Keep those shoulder blades sliding down your back. And breathe. Shake out those legs. Time to stretch. Bring your right foot forward. Step your left foot back. Keep your toes pointing forward, keep your hips square. Inhale and exhale to lunge on that right leg. Let's really ground that left heel down. Keep that left knee straight so we feel a stretch in the superficial muscle of that calf, which is called the... That's right, gastrocnemius. Shorten the stance, soften the knee, Lean forward, try to hinge at this ankle joint, so you're deepening this angle here, to stretch your soleus. That's the deeper muscle of the calf. We're going to shake that out. We're going to plant the left foot forward, take a big step back with the right foot. Toes are still pointing forward, feet are parallel, hips are square. Inhale, exhale, lunging on the left. Really grounding down through that right heel. Keeping that right leg, that back leg straight. Inhale and exhale. Sink and stretch. Now let's shorten the stance. Soften the knee. Lean forward. Get a nice stretch in that soleus on this side now. Breathe and sink into it. Use your breath. Let's shake that out. Let's put our benches, what? Yeah, we'll put our benches back together. I'll put my bench back together. You can just have a seat. You can grab a, a weight to rest across your thighs. We'll do some toe taps here. So, it's really important to make sure your heels are a little farther forward than your knees. Because if your heels are too close, you can't lift your feet. You gotta slide your feet forward so your heels are in front of your knees to have room to lift your feet and tap your toes. So, got my heels forward of my knees. I'm gonna add some resistance. You don't even have to have resistance because you can work it without it, but it's fun to have resistance. Let's flex our feet and tap our toes from side to side. Flex and tap. You're gonna feel it in your shins for eight, seven, side to side, six, five, keep it going, four, four, three more, two, one, and now we'll stop. You've got to wait, set it down. Take a second, brace your core. I want you to co-contract the front and back of your body so it's all nice and stable and braced here. Lean back and balance on your sits bones. Relax your ankles, shake your feet out. Let's circle our feet now, circle the toes. Reverse directions. Let's point and flex the feet. Let's 
to make fists with our toes. And open, and fists, and open, and fists, and open. Let's shake those feet out again. Let's catch our breath. Let's do some twists now while we're here, while we're seated. You can use a dumbbell for this. You don't even have to have a dumbbell, but if you do, pull both, pull both hands on the weight. If you don't have a weight, just clasp your hands together. Again, brace your core front and back. Now you can just lift your heels and balance on your toes. If you want more challenge, you'll lift your feet up, keeping your spine long, your shoulders packed. We're going to rotate right and left for five, six, seven, eight. Right and left. So turning around your spine, keeping it nice and long. Please don't hunch over, don't round your back. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest, keep it going for four, three, two, and one, and let's rest for a second. Catch your breath. Let's do some chest work next. We are going to do one of our high intensity blocks for chest. And what I'm proposing is a set of flies, a set of presses, and then a pullover, a double leg stretch. And again, flies and presses, pullover, flies and presses, and, pull, and only two pullovers because we've got to get eight blocks. So it's going to go flies, presses, pullover, flies, presses, pullover, flies, presses. I'll be talking you through it. So set yourself up for chest flies. You'll need two weights, or you can do a tube at the door. If you're doing a tube at the door, you do pullovers with the tube this way. You can step forward and pull the tube down over your shoulders this way with it behind you. So you would do flies, presses, and then tube pull over this way. All right, we've covered our faces. So, Assuming you're using dumbbells, you're going to lie back. You're going to ground your shoulder blades. You're going to bring your weights up with your palms facing in. Get ready. Chest slide out to the side. Go. Now don't go too fast with these. Make sure you're controlling your weight. And I encourage you not to drop your elbows below your shoulders. That will protect your shoulder joint from hyperextension. Try to inhale out and exhale back in. Presses are next. You can have your hands parallel or turn your palms to face your feet. Either way is fine for presses. Go. When to bend and extend, lower and lift, down and up. Working across the pecs. This also works our triceps, by the way. Let's put one weight down. Grab the remaining weight with both hands. Give me some tabletop legs. Float your head off the bench or floor. Go. Inhale, lengthen. You work in the range that works for you. The lower the legs go, the harder it is. So focus on your spinal alignment. Not, not arching your back beyond the natural arch. Try to feel that your abs are tight and flat. Try to engage that deep muscle, the transverse abdominis. Grab that second weight, come back for more flies. Round your shoulders, palms facing in. Go. Bring it out, bring it in, bring it down, bring it up. With control. Press is next. Still with those shoulders rounded. Take some deep breaths. Wake up. Go. Bend and extend. Lower and lift. Down and up. Inhale, exhale.
Put one weight down. Grab the other weight with both hands. Tabletop knees. Let's float the head and brace the core. Draw the navel into the spine. Go. Okay, that's our last pullover, so we'll go back to flies again. Round your shoulders. Weights up. Go. Out and in. Down. Up. It should be filling us across your pecs by now. Final round. Back to presses. Ground your shoulder blades. Weights up. Go. Extend and extend. Almost there. Bring those weights down. We can sit up. Hopefully you felt that right across here. Let's open our arms. Squeeze our shoulder blades together. Gently pulse back. Stretching across the front of the body. Let's take a big pulse to release it. Let's catch our breath. Before we get up and go away, let's do some reverse crunches here. So if you were standing for your tubes, go ahead and find yourself a place to lie down. So reverse crunch. We can, if you've got something to grab onto, you can grab onto it. Otherwise, you can just brace your arms against the floor. You can also float your head to make it a little more challenging. You can also make a double crunch if you want. The reverse crunch is we curl the spine, we lift the hips. We don't swing the legs, we lift the hips, we scoop the abs. You can add double crunch if you want to, choose your option. Let's crunch it. Lift. Scoop those abs. Now the shoulder part is optional. You can just raise your hips if you want to. For four, three, now. Half time, crunch, and lower. Exhale, inhale, lift, and lower. Keep it going, just like this. For four, and down. Three more, and down, and down. For two, and down. One more time at half time. Let's go back to regular time. Eight, seven, six, five. Crunch is four, three, two. Let's hug the legs in, relax the head and neck. Rock out your lower back and breathe. When you're ready, sit up. If you're not ready yet, get ready. Let's do some side bends next. A little more core work for the obliques, the obliques muscles, sometimes called the obliques. Always called the obliques. One dumbbell. Stay in your left hand, I guess. So. Side bend, it's lateral flexion. Once you start nice and tall, when you flex, kind of lift up and over, not just down. And for heaven's sake, don't come forward like this. Bring it right down the seam of your shorts or pants. Right down the seam. Got it? Now, I'll work a tempo, which is this. 
You can work at half tempo if you like, which is more controlled. Both are good. Both you should feel in the opposite side of leaks. Stack your spine, pack your shoulders. Here we go. Flex it. Bend it. Right down the seam in your shorts. 12. 11. 10. 9. Flex it 8. Come all the way up each time, nice and tall. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Let's move the weight to the other side. Stack your spine nice and tall and flex it. Down and up. Lower and lift. Keep that length in your spine. Keep that lift to the top of your head for 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, almost to the set, and four, three, two, and one. Here's a pet peeve of mine. Yes, I have pet peeves. People are always shocked to learn that I have pet peeves because I'm so easy going and just take everything in stride. People doing this exercise with a weight in each hand because, duh, that's a fulcrum. You're just shifting your side, yourself from side to side, but one weight pulls you down. Instead of working to raise this weight, this weight pulls. It's like, like a what? I don't know, like a counterweight that you're using. So don't do that. Only just one weight at a time for that exercise. People will think you're silly. Okay, hey, let's do second sets. Go back to the left hand. Round your feet, stack your spine, pack your shoulders. Down the left side seam. Five, six, seven, eight. Flex it. Lower and lift. And then extend. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Feel those obliques engage. Four, four, three, two, and one. We got one more set on the other side. Move it over, stack your spine, stack your shoulders. Right down that side seam in your shorts. Here we go. Let's go. Down and up. Lower and lift. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, and 1, with your rest. We're going to stretch those out later when we do our lat stretches, so just catch your breath. Then our next hip block coming up. And this block will be rows and shrugs. So we'll do a set of rows and set of shrugs, rows and shrugs, rows and shrugs. So we'll end up doing four sets of each. I was counting earlier. And if you work at tempo, which you don't have to, but if you do, it seems like you get about 12 reps in the cycle. That's just an FYI, it's not important. I was just curious. I was curious, so I counted. All right. Get ready for your rows. Hip with stance, drop into a squat. Palms are facing in, leaning forward, and row. Go. And row. Ten. Nine. Just prove that point. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You can work faster if you want to. Four. Three. 
we got three more blocks. And one. There you go. Like I said. Roll your shoulders back and pat them. Shrug your shoulders straight up. Go. Scorch your trapezius. Upper traps. Almost. Ding. Back to rows. Drop into your squat. Palms are facing in. Spine is long. Chest is lifted. Go. Squeeze back your shoulder blades. Keep your spine long. Rugs. Pack those shoulders. Lengthen up to the top of your head. Go. Halfway through this block. Go. This works our latissimus dorsi, also our biceps. Squeeze and release. Shrugs again. Final round. Last set of shrugs. Pack the shoulders, lift your sternum. Go. Almost done this block. Now you're done. Recover. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. I read this somewhere. If you're holding your weight like this, horizontal to the floor, it can be more tiring than if you kind of hold it like that. Kind of let it rest against your hand. You can hold a little, a little more light that way. So if you're ever doing an exercise like that block we just did where we're just holding those weights for the whole time, you might notice I did it about halfway through. I moved my grip from here to here. I do that a lot, but now I'm sharing the secret with you. Time to stretch our lats. Let's interlace our fingers and turn our palms out and press out. Slide our shoulder blades apart now, just the opposite of what I told you to do throughout the whole exercise. Slide them apart with the stretch across your upper back. Now then, shrug up, roll your shoulders back, slide your shoulder blades down your back, raise your arms up, Let's inhale tall, and exhale swaying to the right, feeling the stretch in that left side, and the lats here, and the obliques, this is that oblique stretch I promised you before. Now I'd like you to use your breath, try to inhale to expand your rib cage, and exhale to sink a little deeper into your lateral flexion. Let's do more of a stretch right over here. 
opening up your rib cage, expanding your vital capacity. Inhale tall. Exhale and sway. Use the breath to expand the ribs and sink deeper. Nice. Let's relax back up. Let's shake it out. All right. Shoulders next. Not a high intensity block, just shoulders. And we'll do a stretch for shoulders that will also stretch our upper traps from our shrugs. So I haven't forgotten that. Let's do our normal shoulder bit. So if you've got weights that are on the lighter side, you can do side raises. Using the light tube, you can do side raises. If you're using lighter weights, you can do rear delt flies this way. If you're using a tube, you can do flies, rear delts this way, pulling across your chest. If you've got kind of moderate weights, I'm going to go overhead presses, and then I'm going to do rows. With my rows, my elbows out, right out to the side here, not back here, out to the side. That's because we did our rows earlier, our regular rows, our lat rows. The elbow close, that engages this muscle, the lat, the bigger muscle. But I point the elbow out to the side, now the work is right across here. The back of the shoulder, much smaller muscle, so much lighter weights typically. So you get to the side, which works for you. We'll do uh, one overhead or side raise, and one rear delt, repeating overhead, and then rear delt, or side raise. So, make a choice, take a stance, stack your spine, pat your shoulders, wrap your weights if you need to, and lift it low. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10, 9, press for 8, 7, 6, Home stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Take, take your option for rear delts. Do a split stance if you need to. Hinge forward if you need to. For a rear delt fly or for rows, choose your option. Lengthen your spine. Get ready. And lift. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Exhale, inhale. Elbow straight out to the side, please. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, hold for 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Catch your breath. We'll repeat those. Of course, we're targeting our deltoids all around the deltoid for these exercises. Second set of overhead press or side raise. Choose your option, take your stance, wrap your weights as needed, and then lift them up. Up and down. Exhale, inhale, 12, 11, 10, 9, press for 8, 7, 6, almost there, 4, 3, 2, and 1, rest. Let's stretch out first. Roll our shoulders back, interlace our fingers. Press our palms together, put your knuckles down towards the floor. Lift your chest up. Here's where you get that upper trapezius stretch. Across here, as you slide those shoulders down. Breathe and stretch. Go on to do our second set of rear delts, whatever that option is for you this evening or today. Take your stance. 
choose your option. Five, six, seven, eight, row. And squeeze up and down. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. I don't know. I think I said two sets, but. I might need a third set myself. I'm going to do third sets. You can rest if you need to. I already stretched, but I know it's just like, I don't know. Just feel it tonight. Choose your options. you can, then stop if you have to. It's always an option. Four, three, two, yeah, that's the stop. All right. Deep breath. Rear delts, choose your option. Last time, I promise, lift. Squeeze. Up and down. Twelve. Eleven. Nine, eight, seven, six, almost, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's do our shoulder stretch one more time. Quickly roll the shoulders, place the fingers, push down, lift the chest up. Oh, one of my favorite stretches because it opens the front body. You tend to be kind of like this a lot, on computers, driving your cars. This is a nice opening up stretch. Check it out. Let's take your left hand, cross your right shoulder, keep that left shoulder down. With your right hand, pull the left arm over. Posterior deltoid stretch. Just a moment. That's a moment. Switch. Keep that right shoulder down. Left hand pulls the right arm over. Posterior deltoid stretch. We got some time. Let's do some windshield wipers. Grab a towel, a strap, a belt. Tube, whatever you got. Hold it about rib cage width. Turn your palms in, tuck your elbows into your sides. Now pull this tight and rotate back and forth from the shoulder joint. My arms are close in. I'm not using my upper arm except to rotate it from the shoulder. Try to tear that towel in half. Pull it nice and tight. For eight. You should feel a burn in your shoulders in your rotator cuff. Let's go for four. Three, two, one, and now we'll stop. Nice. Roll your shoulders back. With your right hand, reach behind, grab your left forearm. Grab the knee part, not the wrist, please. Pull that left shoulder down, tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. Let's switch sides. Left hand grabs the right arm, pull it down, drop the shoulder, tilt the left ear towards the left shoulder. We're opening up our scalenes on the side of our necks. Again with the traps and the rotator cuff. And relax. Alright. Time for arms. I've got options. If you have light, light weights, 
you can do curls with both arms and then kick back with both arms. And just alternate curls. You can change your grip to face forward or face in for hammer curl of your choice. Alternating between sets of these and sets of these. You'll do four of each. If you have a heavier weight, you can do concentration curl and then tricep extension one arm at a time. Okay. So this side. I'm doing concentration curls. So I'm gonna do four sets of these, and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna do four sets of triceps. So I'll be doing two sets on each arm for both of those exercises. But you can do two sets on both arms if you've got light enough weights to do both at the same time. Got it? So we may not be all doing the same thing. That's fine. So I'm setting up for concentration curl. I always start on my weaker side arm. Bracing elbow against inner thigh. Keeping spine long. Go. Really targeting our biceps with this one. Getting the maximal voluntary contraction in the biceps. So they say. I'm gonna switch sides. Go. And maybe you're doing triceps now, that's cool. Let's go back where we started. Breathing. We're getting there. This is our last high intensity block, by the way. Switching. Go. We're moving to triceps next. I'll do two different exercises, do whatever you like. You can stand and do overhead extension, or you can kneel and do kickbacks. Go. Remember, this weight should not swing. Switching. Go. Got to really straighten that arm back. Work those triceps. Second sets of triceps, going back to the five I started on, but I'm changing exercise. Go. Go. Recall. 
recover. Okay. Let's put our weights down. We'll stretch our biceps a little bit. Open your arms. Try to twist your thumbs under. Press back. Hopefully you feel a stretch in your upper arm. If you don't feel the stretch, turn your thumbs under more. You'll get it. Breathe. And then tricep stretch. You can use a towel if you want to. You can just roll your arms. Bring one arm up. Pass yourself on the back. Push or pull that elbow. Try to keep your spine stacked. You want that elbow pointing up as much as possible, not out to the side or in front. Up. Really opening up your triceps. That's the back of your upper arm. Triceps. Switching sides. Lengthening up from the top of the head. Spine stacked. Elbow pointing toward the ceiling. Tricep stretch. All right, shake it out. What have we not done? Well, we have our sideline leg series, which will combine with our stretching. So we're going to move down to the floor. Let's say we're all going to lie on our right side so I can call it out. So, I'll be mirroring you, but you're on your right side. This way only I have to be confused. So, we're stacking hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. I suggest resting your head on your arm like this, as opposed to this. This is harder on your neck. So I like to do it this way, but do whatever you like. You can angle your legs forward, they're straight and strong. You can brace your top hand, top leg is up 30 degrees or so. Bottom leg lifts and lowers, let's go. Leg beaters. Squeezing thighs together. Lift. Squeeze them. For 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, hold it up on one. Pulse both legs. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax. Catch your breath. Now don't move yet. Just bend your top leg back. That's your left leg. Grab your foot or ankle and pull that foot away from your backside. So you're opening up your knee joint and your hip joint. I like to say try to move the knee behind your hip. So if you look down your body, you don't see your knee because it's not here. It's back here. You pulled it back and opened up that hip and quad. Breathe. Let's roll onto our backs. Let's grab that left thigh with both hands pull the knee into the chest. You also have the option to pull the knee down the sides of your cage. Let's press out through that right heel. You get a nice glute stretch here. You get a lot of glute tonight with those deadlifts and squats. Let's extend that leg up, holding behind the thigh or the calf, not the knee, please. Let's let that hip sink down into the floor. Inhale and exhale. Try to come deeper on your exhale. And we'll bend that knee with your opposite hand, your right hand, pull the left knee over, keeping your shoulder blades grounded, extending your left arm out to the side and turning the head to the right. Nice gentle spinal twist. Please don't force this. Just relax into it. Use your breath to melt deeper.
coming back to center. Let's cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Keeping that knee open like a number four. We'll grab the right thigh with both hands. We'll hug in. We'll brace the left elbow against the left inner thigh. So we're opening that hip. This is a variation of pigeon pose from yoga. It's a very nice hip opener. And you get to control it here. Depends on how hard you fall. Let's release that. Let's roll on to our left side now. On your left side, with hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, resting your head, legs angled forward, parallel feet, top leg up 30 degrees, and then we lift. Try to squeeze those thighs together, up and down. Give me 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six. You know what's coming up, right? In four. Legs are straight and strong. In three. Get ready. Two. Hold it up on one so we can pulse both legs. Sixteen. Fifteen. Twelve. Ten. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Let's bend that top leg back. Should be your right leg this time. Grab the foot or ankle. Pull the foot away from the back side, not to the back side. Keeping the knee joint open. And opening the hip and the quads in front. Breathe and stretch. Now rolling onto our backs. Grabbing that right thigh with both hands, pulling the knee into the chest. We're pulling it down beside the rib cage. Let's press out through the left heel. Get that nice glute stretch here. Breathe. Now extending that right leg up, holding behind the thigh or calf, and sinking the hip down to the floor. Inhale and exhale, deepening that hamstring stretch. Now bending that knee, the left hand grabbing the right thigh, we're pulling across the body, rolling onto the left hip, keeping our shoulders down, reaching the right arm out to the side, let's turn the head to the right, spinal twist, relax into it, coming back to center, we're crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, keeping that right knee open. Let's grab the left thigh with both hands, hug the knee into the chest. We're pressing our right elbow into our right inner thigh. Getting that nice pigeon stretch. Let's uncross our legs, bring our feet a little wider than our hips. Letting our knees fall in, we'll just windshield wipe the knees from side to side a bit here. And then we'll roll over onto our hands and knees. We'll have our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. We can always use fists for wrists. Draw the abs in. Let's slide shoulder blades down the back. Try to lift your sternum a little bit. Let's make lots of space between our ears and shoulders as we lengthen the neck. Inhale to lift the chest and tailbone looking forward. Exhale to scoop, curl the spine and look in. Inhale, lift, look forward. Sweep it in. And lift it. And scoop it. Come back to neutral spine. Let's bring our big toes together, open our knees wide. Sink our hips back to our heels. We can slide our fingertips forward. We can also stack our hands if we like. We can bring our hands down by our legs if we like. Try to float your forehead down to the mat. 
Just bring your awareness to your lower back and feel that spine decompressing, contracting your back. Let's slowly walk our hands in toward our knees so we can sit up, taking our time so the blood returns to our brains and we're not dizzy. We'll curl our toes under. We'll roll back onto the balls of our feet. Inhale. Exhale, we'll straighten into forward fold. Inhale, we'll exhale and rise. Let's take a saddle stance for three nice deep breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let's pull those shoulder blades down as we press down the arms. Inhale, inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. If you're watching this in real time, we're showing you thereafter. Have a happy Memorial Day. And we'll see you next time.